good Sunday to you, BC and, and the world. Early Sunday morning, about 8.16, thought I'd get up and do a post today. Got a lot on my mind. We'll see what I can remember to share. Um, looking at my comments to uh, my video last night in response to Billy Crioni, love it, folks, yeah. Love it, yeah. Love the discussions. Um, one person did ask the question, um, he said, this, this side of the room looks interesting, why don't you ever show the other side? Um, I'm, this is my r music room and the way that I'm doing my videos is, if you were to visit me, you would see that this is, I'm just sitting where I always sit. This is my music room and this is uh, where I operate. And so this is what you see. I'll show you some more of the room here in a second, but um, for me in a way, making these videos is like a diary, it's like therapy. And so the number one, my number one concern is just expressing myself well, not entertaining you or being concerned about my videos all looking the same. I've, I've had a friend recently um, um, make a comment where he intimated that, you know, he thought it would be a good idea if I broke up the videos more. And it's like, I don't know, I'm not here. I'll do it when I want to. It's, if you look back at my videos, when I feel like it, I do it, but no, that's not part of my agenda is to entertain you or keep you from being bored. Um, quite honestly, what is my interview? I, my interview is I have something for you, for the world. And I do not care anymore if it sounds arrogant because I do, I have something for you all. And I'll throw out the challenge. Don't you have something to share with the world? And so that's what I'm here doing, is sharing my love of music, what little I know about it, what little I have of it, sharing what I think is important, whether or not you want to hear it, that's what I'm here doing. And I'm going to keep doing it the way I feel like it. With that in mind, I watched Chris Alvere, I watched your first video of the year. I posted a response, but you were saying you didn't know why people leave their videos up, and uh... I've already partially explained it, but I'll say further. I see my videos as leaving a legacy. I really do, you know, and I don't, it's like, I think it's very possible that these videos could be here long after I'm gone. And there's there's something in these videos for, for, for someone. Maybe not, maybe not a lot of people, maybe only a few, but that's how I see it. I also get consistent personal messages and feedback and comments that, People are watching my videos and they're learning from them. Ooh, speaking of, listen to this music, Haromi Hosono. This is from NDE, Near Death Experience. You, the graphic is so subtle, it won't show up on the camera. see nearly a third of the videos that are being made about music in, on YouTube, but I think I can safely say that not very many people are playing this kind of music for people to hear, okay? So I feel like, <coughs> I definitely think there's just a whole lot of really good music that people just need to hear, and this is, this is, so this is what I'm doing, okay? Um, in response to the person that wants to see more of the room, I'll show you a bit. Um, it'll be a little bit noisy because I have to can handle the camera, okay? Let's see how this goes. So, okay, so here's, the other thing I'll say is you see this heater, but I have experimented with this space heater and it's in a safe, safe position. It's not harming my records. I have researched this, so. There's a space heater. I'm very, very sensitive to the cold. So, this is the side you see most of the time. And let's just pan over. There's my turntable. There's the uh, 
that's my mixing board and my one effects uh, unit old. A lot of the effects I use are um, patches on the computer. Here's the other speaker. Friends, that's another uh, good fusion album I ought to play for. I was playing last night. Here, over here, some of my equipment pedals, a couple of my bass guitars. There's that effects unit that used to sit on top of the speaker that would always make me wonder, what is that thing? The silver thing there. This is one of my CD racks. I have one, two, three, four, five CD racks this size, full. I need to explain that I have these crappy Target shelves because last year when I bought them, or the year before when I bought them, I was still working. And the, I, the plan was for them to be uh, temporary, but I can't afford Ikea. So I have these saggy, shitty, sagging shelves for my records. Can't afford, I can't afford Ikea. So here we are over here with more saggy records, my printer. There's my next record. Those are the, the the covers are all complete and numbered. They're all numbered. They're all numbered and everything ready to go. Over here, this is uh, the end of my main section. The end of the Y, starting with yes. That's all Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. All of that. Up to the box. That's all the rest of Zappa. And then over there starts my uh, compilations on that shelf. Compilations, compilations, and s soundtracks. Getting into the classical music over here, okay? Classical down in the corner there. And then starting here, behind this pile, those are 12-inch singles and uh, techno recordings. In the corner, more equipment. I'm so out of room. My Juno 60, my Sequential Circuit 6-track, my uh, Yamaha Acoustic that needs uh, work, but I don't use it much, so I'm not too concerned about it. Come over here. Now there's, here's where I sit. This is, this is me, where I sit. Faust, Porcupine Tree, posters, little sun ambulance, CD release party thing there. See, this is where I'm sitting. This is the desk that I'm sitting at all the time. There's the table, junk table right next to it. Receipts and stuff. And then over here, see, it's hard. More records. Um, and there's more out in the living room. And there's more in the closet. Matter of fact, let me see. Let me see if I can do this right quick. I'll try to show you the closet, okay? See if you can see. See all those records in the closet? Yeah, I don't know how many records I have. By now, it really is. It's well over 10,000. I don't know. I don't count. But, uh... I just wanted to do that for today's video, and um, I may come back today uh, and talk some more and share some more time. <coughs> <coughs> I just wanted to respond. I just wanted to share those things. I have more in my mind, but it's it's escaped me. Talk to you soon.